We're here with the Wang family at the opening of the 2008 Chinese art show exhibit here at the Village Hall Rotunda. This is in celebration of the 2008 Olympic Games opening today in Beijing, China. Uh, we're here with the Wang family, as I said, Larry Wang, Lily, Michael, and Sky. They are uh, with the, in fact, they are the Framer Company in the Green Meadow Shopping Plaza. But they also have uh, an art distribution uh, project that they've started, and I believe it's called GoldenSilkworm.com. Is that correct, Sky? Absolutely. Uh, GoldenSilkworm.com is an original handmade uh, replica of any sort of photograph, typically um, of animals or um, people or even famous paintings. And it's of four major um, silk schools of uh, silkworm. So there's, there's four different, in other words, four different styles of silk. When we say silk, this is silk on silk needlepoint, and they're so true to life, you actually, uh, on a couple of them, you want to go up and scratch the little ear of the kitten, and, and you want to pet the dog. They're so realistic. So the silk on silk needlepoint, and there are four different styles of this needlepoint? Yes, yes. The four major ones, uh, they are Su, um, there is Xiang, there is... Um, yeah, and there is Tron. These four major schools are uh, the, the main styles that affect our all of our artworks. Now, do you have all four here this evening, or do you have just certain uh, styles here? Yeah, actually, we do have a bit of uh, each school in here mixed together, so everybody gets a little peek at every one of them. Well, I'm looking at an orchid plant here that looks it looks like an orchid. You want to actually go up touch it and smell it because it looks so real. Uh, so it's beautiful, beautiful work. Now, you said it's, it's done of pictures. Mm -hmm. So in other words, if, if I have a picture of, uh, well, let's say my, my pet. Mm -hmm. uh, I bring you a photograph of my pet mm -hmm. in color. Right. And then you have the artist create a silk on silk of that pet. Yes, uh, this, the process actually is we will have an imprint of the picture onto the silk screen itself. And then afterwards, uh, we, the artist will actually use about 260 different colors of silk oh my to, to make, it, to make the, the photo come alive. It's about 20, to 20 days up to, up to two uh, a month for a single person, a single artist, to be able to master this. They're, they're phenomenal. Let's just take... One of the smaller ones, you have um, maybe an 8 by 10 there. About how long would it take an artist to actually do that 8 by 10? And uh, the one I'm looking at is, um, I believe, of the German Shepherd. So there's not a lot of color, but there is a lot of color because it's so uh, real. Right, right. There's, there's a lot of different techniques that goes in, involved, uh, especially using the, the full 260 different colors. And typically you're looking at about 20 days to a month um, for an individual master to be able to complete one. They, they're absolutely gorgeous. Now, you have other work here. I know the silk uh, art is actually for sale in the exhibit. It's also for sale uh, on the internet. Do you want to give us your website? Yeah, absolutely. Simply just uh, visit goldensilkworm.com and uh, we do actually have a small uh, bio on the history and also the process. Uh, we will be able to, we will certainly be able to take orders and um, make original pictures of your pets. But for right now, you can come and actually see the work between August 7th and August 22nd here in the Rotunda. And then after that, I know, uh, Larry, you have a lot of this work actually hanging in your, uh, in your shop across the street at Green Meadows, correct? Right, yes, exactly, yeah. yeah. So if someone were to come in uh, during the day, they can see most of this art. Right. And ask you questions about it, and actually place an order if you'd like. Right, right, yeah. Just come here, you know, you know, give me the picture. Oh, you, you, I, I can, I can email to China, my factory. They make the, oh, you know, the silk. Come here, I make beautiful frame for them. Oh, well, that's the important part because Larry's company is called the Framer Company, uh, and he does artwork, and then he's very happy to frame that beautiful artwork for you. Correct? Right, yes. And then his wife Lily, Lily, you're in the store all the time, and, and you, 
actually, I've depended on you for a, a number of questions that I've had, like what color matting should I use? Should I, should I put triple matting or double matting? So you're there all the time to kind of help us through proper framing? Uh, sometimes, you know, it's a customer, is coming to my store, you know, it's my old customer. He, he just coming here, oh, Lily, I know you make this exactly for, I want the color, you know, I like that. I just like that. There, yeah, just the picture. Yeah, just the picture. Everything he designed. <laughs> well, <laughs> exactly. In fact, that's what I've done a number of times. I've come in and it's like, you know what I need. Yeah. You know what's going to go best with the picture. And what Lily does and what uh, Larry does is they will take the picture, pull the best of the colors out of it, and some of the simplest photographs. In fact, I have a newspaper clipping that you actually just made it look so much better than a newspaper <laughs> clipping just by matting it properly and framing it properly. So they can see you on, on many levels. They can see you as the framer. They can see you as the art distributor. They can see you on the website for these beautiful silk on silk. Uh, now you also have something else here this evening, an artist that you work with locally. Yeah. Um, Joanne, what is her name? Jo Joanne, yeah. Joanne Alice. Yeah. Joanne Alice is a black and white photographer. She couldn't be here this evening, but what Joanne does is She's not an artist that gives you what she wants to give you. She takes your family, your, your children, uh, she takes what's special to you. She photographs it in black and white, and then she enhances it with, with oils. And we have a couple of her pieces here today. Now, Joanne Alice is actually a, a local Addison artist, and she does some beautiful work. I first saw her work with your family portrait. And uh, at the time, it was in the window of your store. And it's beautiful. It's black and white, but it's more than black and white. It, it comes out and it speaks to you. It says, I'm a portrait, I'm important, and these are important people. So it's beautiful work. And right, right. Every year, he comes to my store, you know, the show the picture. Because, you know, before, he's my customer. The one day, he said, I make the free, uh, picture for your family. My wife said that. My my, uh, my 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 husband can make a picture. He said, "No, you come my home. Oh wow, they they home is the is a very professional, you know, the the place for the photographer. They then after this, every couple of years they make the my family, my family picture. Very beautiful. They are. They're beautiful. And if someone wanted to be in touch with Joanne Alice, mm -hmm. they can stop into your shop and you have contact with her. She does do beautiful work. Right. You know, it's very, yeah. very beautiful. I like yeah. this black and white picture. You know, it's so much beautiful. Yeah. She is a very good job. She yeah. does an excellent job, and she's a perfectionist. Yeah. So she might take 40 pictures to get one. <laughs> you know, but they're beautiful when they're finished. So, Sky, is there anything else you want to tell us about the art and the art distribution that, uh, that the, the Framer Company does? Well, basically, uh, the, with the art distribution, we do um, custom orders. Everything can be completed online. Uh, we do have a form on there. We typically will ask for a clearer picture of your pet, um, usually about a two point, two, uh, two megapixel digital camera would be fine, um, and not like background. Just make sure it stands out a little bit mm -hmm. so it's easier on the artist. Well, it, it's beautiful, and, and you have some wildlife uh, also here. They're not just pets. You have just some beautiful things. The eagle uh, in... 2005, I believe it was, uh, Larry Wang and his family uh, brought the village a gift, and it was a silk-on-silk -silk needlepoint eagle that he presented us with. And anytime anyone would like to see it, it's in our international room here at the Village Hall. So thank you, and we will see you at the official opening of this wonderful exhibit. Thank you. We'll be back in just a minute with the ribbon cutting. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. And welcome to the official opening of the 2008 Chinese Art Show sponsored by the Village of Addison and the Chinese Consulate. This is in celebration of the 2008 Beijing Olympics. Today is August 7th, 2008, and it's now 7.15 p.m. here. In China, I believe in Beijing, today is 8.8.08 at 
815 hours. So the official Beijing Olympics are now underway. So we think the time is very appropriate, 8808, 800 hours. So we're so pleased to have you all here to help us celebrate it. Addison is a very, very fortunate community in having so many cultures in our community and the ability to express and uh, experience and understand those cultures uh, and, our, and to learn more about our neighbors all around the world. And this event is a perfect example of that. And thanks to Mr. Wang and his family and their time and their efforts and their talent, we can share these many beautiful pieces of art with you today. At this time, I'd like to introduce uh, Mayor Larry Hartwig, Mayor of the Village of Addison. Thanks a lot, Lucille, and uh, welcome to everyone here this evening. This is a great event. Uh, this is the second year that uh, we've been able to host uh, a Chinese art exhibit. And we affectionately, of course, call our friend Larry, Larry the Framer. And, uh, and Larry's been a great friend to the village of Addison, a good businessman. And uh, I know my wife enjoys going over and spending money over at his shop. So, Larry, thank you so much. You know, last year we had this exhibit and uh, we donated to the village of Addison this piece that you see right here to my left. Uh, we moved it down from upstairs. We keep it up in the room upstairs. Uh, but you know, I, I tell people, and it's, it's, uh, it's really almost hard to believe uh, that that is needlepoint. Uh, you know, as you look at it, uh, you'd swear that that was, uh, you know, oil of, of some sort, some kind of painting. Uh, people have shared my, my skepticism to the point where they come and they have to touch it. And so we have to put some glass over it or else pretty soon it's going to be, uh, uh, you know, destroyed. But uh, it's just an example of some of the talent that we see in, uh, in the Chinese art world. And uh, we're so privileged, and as Lucille said, to celebrate the diversity that we experience here in Addison with the many cultures. And to have the opportunity to have a, an exhibit of such quality uh, expressing the, uh, the, the culture of the Chinese is really a privilege. And, and here this evening, I know, uh, on, representing the board, we have our deputy mayor, Rich Veenstra, who's here. And I didn't see him, but I thought I saw his car out there. Harry Theodore is Harry. There he is back there. Uh, a couple of our trustees who, who are here to uh, share in this experience this evening. And we have, uh, from our Cultural Arts Commission, we have a number of people, and I know we've got the chairman and that library here, and, you know, I'm going to start, I better not start mentioning all of them, because I'm going to miss some of them, and then I'm in trouble. Uh, but uh, uh, from our sister cities organization, too, that we have active here in, in Addison, uh, many organ groups that are very interested in the diversity, the, the multicultural nature of our community and indeed of our world. So we're really privileged this evening to have the Council General uh, from the Chicago office for uh, China, the Republic of China, to be here with us on this occasion as we celebrate the Olympics, the opening of the Olympics. And it, like Lucille said, it's today. The Olympics are opening today, and of course, we're hoping from the Chicago area that we will experience this in 2016, that we will be able to host the world and show off to the world what we have here in the Chicago metropolitan area. And I know that uh, we are working towards that. So, again, welcome. Thank you so much for coming. And I would like to introduce at this time the Council General General of the People's Republic of China in Chicago, Pon Pon. Pon Pei. Sorry. Come on. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Mayor. 
Uh, it is really a great pleasure and honor for me and my colleagues to come uh, to Edison. I, uh, I was told why I, call, I could call this uh, Village of Edison uh, to experience this opening ceremony uh, for the Chinese art show. And in this way, we celebrate the uh, Beijing Olympics in a couple of hours. Uh, we checked the time, I think, right now it's... Uh, 7.20 like that. In Beijing, it's 8.20. So after another 12 hours, the uh, Olympic flame is going to light up the sky in Beijing. It is really a, a dream come true for Chinese. Uh, we have been thinking uh, about this for so many years. We, in a couple of hours, we could really experience this great time. I still remember fondly the year when China won the uh, Olympics in 2001. At that time, I was in, uh, in Ottawa, in Canada. Uh, we had such a nice uh, celebration uh, in the embassy with more than 1,000 people uh, turned out in that hall, which should uh, only hold about 800 people. So now we're going to experience this time. I think we will uh, join hands together uh, to cherish the Olympic spirits. It is a good thing you know, to, to have this opening ceremony, uh, to celebrate that event, because art, like sports, uh, has no boundaries. Uh, it's nice to see all those very beautiful pictures and the uh, arts from China uh, putting up here. Uh, it reminds me, but looking at all those you know, pictures reminds me uh, of the hometown. I've been, I came to Chicago last July and I haven't got a chance to go back. So a little bit homesick while looking at all those pictures. Uh, but I think uh, th uh, tomorrow night, starting from tomorrow night, so we will see lots of uh, broadcasting from China. Here I want to thank you again for inviting us here. I want to thank the city of uh, Edison uh, and uh, Larry Wang's family. And you have uh, put a great effort to make this event possible. And uh, let's also hope Chicago have a very good luck for the 2016 Olympics. Uh, I, was, I have been asked in many events which I should vote for the 2016. I said, as a council general in Chicago, I have no other choice but to vote for Chicago. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, thank you very much again. And, uh, I, uh, I hope everybody have a very nice evening. Thank you. Thank you very much. Nice. Larry Wang and his family up? Yeah. Larry, would you please come up here? This is Larry Wang. And would you bring your family up here? Yeah, Larry is such a good friend of our, our community, uh, a, a representative, I think, of, of what is the best in our, in our country, that we have people with such diverse backgrounds that come together to make this a, a great place. So, Larry, would you introduce your family to everyone here? Yes, this is my, my beautiful wife, Lily, my second son, Michael, and my first son, Sky. Today, yeah, we're very happy everybody come here. I want Sky, you know, to say some words for, for everybody, okay? Welcome everybody to uh, to this gathering. Um, again, my dad didn't tell me about this, so I'm kind of up here. Um, first of all, we're very uh, we're very glad to be here um, to be able to celebrate art, but also between um, China and U.S. government together. Um, why not pick a common language that everyone can understand? So art, it was the first thing that my dad came and thought of our mind and. Um, We've been here for 15 years, uh, over here in Addison, and the village of Addison has been very great to us. And uh, we're very excited that we're getting the support from the Consulate General as well to be able to allow us to share this with everybody. 
So we're very excited to be here and we're very um, gracious to have this moment to be able to share this with everyone. And we have Ms. Addison with us tonight, and we're going to join together at the other end, and we'll cut the ribbon to officially open this uh, exhibit.